Ladies and gentlemen, we're back. And my, I'm with my day one, Wilson. <laughs> I may have to repeat all of that because I'm, I may be copyrighted if that song could have been heard. But I'm here with Wilson, who is my day one love when it comes yes. to g gym stuff. Like he's my first, first when it came to the gym. And what, what, are, we, what are we doing today? 21.2. Yeah. <laughs> do you want to say what it is? In the time cup of 20 minutes, you need to do... 10 dumbbell snatches, which you're going to see the movement that she does them, and then 15 bumpy box jump overs. Mm -hmm. Then the dumbbell snatches go up by 10 each round. So the next round would be 20 dumbbell snatches, 15 box jump overs. 30 dumbbell snatches, 15 box jump overs. Until she gets to 50 dumbbell snatches, that is alternate, so 25 and 25, and 15 box jump overs, and that will be it. The what? end that she finishes in 20 minutes, or we we'll see how far she gets in 20 minutes. And I'm sure she's so excited, look at her face, and ready to go, and let's do this. I forgot just how nerve-wracking it is, and I think you especially make me really nervous. What? Yeah, 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 you make me really nervous, because you, yeah, no, because you would push me, you would push me, even, like, I've never felt the way I felt when I was working out with you in other places, but I was also never stronger than I was when I was here. That's true. Uh, uh, no, but you know what? Next, I wish I wish this was given to me as just like, oh, this is just a workout we're yeah, doing, Chad. Yeah, I think it's mental. Yeah. It's just mental. It's yeah, mental. It's just another one. But I'm going to try my best not to be a crybaby, even mm -hmm. though I may have cried already. So, so okay. there's that. You know, I was actually not going to film this, but then someone was like, was walking past and said, why aren't you filming this? You filmed the last one, you should do it. And I thought, okay, so people like to see me die. That's great. Because the last one, I was on the floor there, like, Breathing and I don't they think are the camera. I think they get they motivate you. I, I hope so. I hope it motivates you to join the gym, yes. to be active, and yes, yes, yes. and get Wilson as your coach. Come to CrossFit. Anyway, wish me luck. I get to a fist, I got you mad. I guess that when I get to relax, get it that I'm never going back. Get it that I'm never going back. I get to it first, I got you mad. I guess that when I get to it last. Get it that I'm never going back. Get it that I'm never going back. Going up, going up, going up, going up, going up, going up. Get it that I'm never going up, going up, going up, going up, going up, going up, going up. Get it that I'm never going. I get to it off the runway. Different incomes, not one way. Living life on a one way. This will happen someday You can ask my day one day Cloudy days turn to sun rays Only way to way up way Know my way, know my feng shui I get to it first, I got you mad I guess that when I get to it last Get it, then I'm never going back Get it, then I'm never going back I get to it first, I got you mad I guess that when I get to it last Get it, then I'm never going back Get it, then I'm never going back Going up, going up, going up Going up, going up, going up, going up. Some of different car keys I'm the life of the party I buy a bike like a Harley Totally doing so gnarly God got me, can't harm me I got armor and an army Battle scars, battle smartly Just forever like a Sharpie I get to it first, I got you mad I guess that when I get to it last Get it that I'm never going back Get it that I'm never going back I get to it first, I got you mad I guess that when I get to it last Get it that I'm never going back Get it that I'm never going back Going up, going up, going up, going up, going up. That was the worst workout I've done in months. Easily. Also, mm, I did it under the time cap. Thank you. I did it under 19 minutes, 18 minutes, 58 seconds. <laughs> okay, it's been at least. 20 minutes since I last spoke to you. I literally couldn't breathe. I couldn't get my words together. All I know is I finished it in under 20 minutes and under 19 minutes. Insane. I actually just even spoke to Patricia to be like, guess what I did, babe? You know the workout we watched the other week? I did it and I finished it, but I did the scaled version. So yeah, I just came to say one more time, I'm really proud of myself. And especially after last week where I felt overwhelmed and kind of like, oh, what am I doing? And it just feels good. 
Okay, I'm gonna see you later. I'm probably gonna see you tomorrow actually because this is all I've got for today. This is all I've got. Hello, you guys. It is uh, one, th no, 2.30 um, and I am starving. I've not had lunch. Our cafe though, graciously hooked a girl up um, and I'm about to get into this. But you know what? I don't even have time to really get into it because we've got our live we're talking about this book, which is Jonathan Livingston Seagull, A Story. It is by Richard Bach, and it's the one with the complete fourth edition. And that starts in about 20 minutes. This is going to be our April book. And, you know, since I last spoke to you, we now know that some of the lockdown type restrictions have changed quite a bit. There's a, a, a number of businesses that are now affected. You can't go into restaurants, uh, gyms. That one hurt me the most. I kind of, and I understand, I understand why, but like, oof, that one was a bit of a blow. Um, and there's this, there's, there's a lot that's changed. And I suspect given that now the curfew has changed from being 10 p.m. to 8 p.m we will now have more time indoors and maybe we'll be reading more maybe this girl will be reading more because frankly i'm not doing a good job i've only finished four books and it's the first the first quarter of 2021 is done and if i go at this rate i will not meet my goal of reading 21 books this year so hopefully in april i'll be able to go through like three books oh that would be great and this is the next one but we'll i'll get into this a little bit better later but it's a love in color Bolu Babalola. I think it's a bunch of short stories. All right, I'm going to get into this because I'm, I'm starving. Yeah, meal is half had. I just can't continue because we're about to go live in no time. But look what's in here. Oh, it's melted a little bit, but it's okay. I'm gonna use my hands. Salted caramel. And then in here I got the single vanilla latte with almond milk. I'm just about to start setting up for for this live. But I, I'm just going to tell you, I don't know how I felt about this book. Like it, I, at some point I was like, really? That's it? Meh, I don't know. But towards the end, it got me feeling some type of way. Because I think I was, it, I drew similarities lots of similarities to religion and how sometimes the focus is not on the things that matter but like these little rituals and people and you must respect and honor this person and say it like this otherwise you are going to hell forever and then it's a lot of times it feels like it's fear driven um we're not going to go into that now because i don't even think i have the time uh to and i and i would want to kind of have that conversation with as much time as possible because I also understand how this topic, like religion, can be a little bit heated and people feel sensitive about it. And I get it, I get it. But uh, yeah, I can't wait to see what Patricia has to say. There, that's what it looks like. Oh, it's time to go live. It's time to go live. Let me wait for Patricia to go live. As I wait for that, I just wanted to check in and see how you guys are doing. Because, if you ask me, this is usually one of, like, one of the best times to just do it, just to take stock and see how things are going, how you're feeling. Q1 of 2021 is over. By the time this video goes up, it'll be April 1st. So literally, it is, you know, time to kind of sit down and see what's working, see what's not working, what you need to change, who you need to remove. If you need to do that, who you need to add into your life, and how best to go about it. But um, I, if you ask me, the last week or so has been a little bit heavy, and well, partly because of, uh, you know, I'm about to be on my period, so things just generally seem to, I just tend to be like overly sensitive to many things, but also because it just, I mean, things are different, at least here in Kenya. There's been more and more cases and deaths and uh, oh she's live let me go on live okay we're gonna chat a little bit later where are you can you see me oh, wait um hey i can't see you can you see me now i can't see you at all 
it is over and that was so good oh gosh there's a child crying outside oh it's gonna be one of those videos <laughs> i don't know I, I can't i can't i can't do anything but hopefully it's not too loud and you can't it's not too distracting but that was such a fun life i feel like our lives are getting more and more interesting as we go and people are offering up their opinions and whether they're different to ours or not hello I thought I heard a knock, but it doesn't seem like there's anyone at the door. But it was really good, and I don't know why I feel like I haven't seen Patricia in so long, but it's really only been a week since I last saw her. But it was just so nice to see her on the live. I've really missed her. I've, I'm so grateful for that friendship. But, um, right, what was I telling you before we, we had to go on the live? I think I was trying to explain to you that I kind of want this vlog to be focused on trying to start afresh and get ready for a new quarter to also take time for little things that I could do here and there to get myself ready for a new month and a new and Q2. There's lots of things I could do physically to kind of get myself ready and that is like in skincare. I got someone saying like, oh, your skin has been looking so great lately. Yeah, but look at what my period is about to just like hit me with. A couple of these spots here and there, but it's okay, no big deal. Uh, happens every month. I'm a true believer that if you are, if your environment is in the right space and if your body and spirit are rejuvenated, then it allows you to perform at your peak. And I need to be performing at my peak, at least for the next few years. It feels like I really just need to give it my all. And this year, especially given some of the goals I have for myself, I want to give myself the best chance to do as best as I possibly can. I also wanna say that this video is so kindly sponsored by Kotex. If you guys, don't know, maybe because you just joined me recently, but um, Kotex have been big supporters of mine and my work in the last year or two. I think it's actually almost, it's, I think it's two years, yeah. It's two years now. Um, and they started the She Can campaign, which just really stands for the woman being able to do whatever she puts her mind to, that there are no limits, where it's really just about celebrating women who have gone over and above what you know our expectations would be or the society's expectations would be and physically or in terms of their careers or in terms of activism women who have really left a positive mark on society or and just inspired other people to to chase their dreams and to be very ambitious without being apologetic about it um and i appreciate that and i love that oh my goodness can i tell you guys I sent this to Patricia and another friend of mine recently, but someone left a comment on my vlog just basically saying, you know, <laughs> it wasn't a nice comment, but I'm sure in their head they thought it was nice. It was a very um, presumptuous thing for someone to think they could say, but it, it, they were just like, you know, Sharon just strikes me as a woman who's really trying her best to be sweet and kind and seem a certain way, but deep down she is ruthless and ambitious and she goes after, she, uh, after what she wants and she'll be so successful and she doesn't need a man next to her because that will just slow her. I like the way she, they just described me, I was like, what? <laughs> Who? But as I was talking about ambition just then, I was like, oh, that woman thinks I'm like a ruthless, ambitious woman. And do I feel like sometimes I have those moments where I'm just like, ah, I really wanna get this for myself, nothing's gonna stop me. I do, yeah. And I think the only way I've kind of made it this far in my career is because I had that kind of almost blind faith that I'm not gonna stop until I see where this goes. Um, in fact, we were even talking about that a little bit with Patricia just now, but it, it's, it's, helped that my ambition i know and i know in the past i've kind of been told to kind of tone it down a little bit um advice that i'm not sure worked and i think the person who was trying to tell me that meant it in the nicest way possible but they were afraid that it would uh it would threaten the person that i was with at the time and i was like i'm not sure i understand but that means that's not that's not how i was raised so i'm going to I'm going to pass on the advice. Uh, where have, I've just gone left with this conversation. My point was, it's so kindly sponsored by Kotex. Uh, I actually only ever use their tampons. I freaking love how colorful they are. I have been displaying them for the longest time. I kind of think that's also my way of saying, in this house, we do not try and there's no shame around periods and what your body does naturally. So I put them out on display real pretty and their panty liners i love too i particularly love i particularly love the ones that are not scented because they have others that are scented um right but i 
love their products. I'm going to link where you can get them down below, although I'm pretty certain you all used Kotex at some point in your life. Um, and I would recommend them. They work well for me and my body. But for now, and for this video, what we're going to do is try and set ourselves up for success. And I hope that I will inspire one, maybe two, maybe more people to look into this new quarter with positivity and like vigor and excitement and just to know that we've got this. We've got this. I know the pandemic still kind of feels like it's got us and in some ways it definitely has, but we've got this. Oh, you got this. That's what my mug says, y'all. My really dirty mug. I'm going to turn it around because that side is uh, extra mucky. Look at that. You got this. It's one of my favorite things to say. It really is. I got this from Game last year. Yep. And it's one of my favorite mugs. I'm now going to take my makeup off, uh, try and do some stretches and take it easy for the day. But I'm feeling really positive and I hope you are too. I'll see you in a bit. Bye, bye, bye. No one ever lets me film them in this house, in my life. It's... No, 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 don't tell you. No, 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 it's okay. It's, it's, I'm, just giving, I'm just giving everyone in my family a hard time. <laughs> But no one ever comes to my video. No one wants to be seen. And the one person who always comes to my video cannot be seen. <laughs> the number of times I've up. You, you can't. This, I'm talking about this little that lady here. here. No, yeah. Like the one person who's not allowed to be in the video is the one who's most eager to be seen. <laughs> oh, the irony of life. Anyway, I'm now at my parents' house. This is part of my self-care routine. What? You have wings. You have sticky wings. Yeah. Please, please, don't start discussing my food, eh? <laughs> yes. I am tired. Oh, I'm mama, really... you're coming on. Hi, good oh, look it's at that. It's my time to eat my sticky wings. Let me show them. I'm showing them what you're eating. <laughs> Her plate looks really colorful. I think Coach Rosanne would be happy about the color. Um, and honestly, you guys want sticky wings? Yeah. For me. Wow. For mama. Look at that. We're still celebrating Ouch. Mama's birthday. Look at this. Ouch. <laughs> Sorry. I feel like you should see it. I am so hungry, Sharon. I'm too? not about to okay? eat yeah. What are you guys me. doing? Actually, Coach Rosanne should not watch this because <laughs> everyone's losing the plot. I've been trying, like, this video is about, like, let's, you know, it's we're starting a new filming. quarter. Yeah, I'm actually filming. Do you want to come on my video and say hi since you go on Fatma's videos all the time? You're filming yeah. with that hair. Like that. <laughs> I'm not taking this out. Whoa, Listen. Why did my face was Sorry. my face. Imagine you did the whole thing. <laughs> I don't even know what you're trying. <laughs> Amani, I'll put this is Amani's face. I'll put an emoji. I'll this put is Amani's. This is how Amani looks like. Oh, this is fucking. Sharon is, is the one who does That's want my hand. Anyway, what I was trying to say is, I came to I this saw. house. I call you. <laughs> Everyone's in a mood yeah. today. Mm -hmm. Everyone's in such a good mm -hmm. mood, and I'm all here for. That's why I came. No, I really need to vlog. I need Wait, to I'm oh just want to show. I don't. I don't know what's happening. I think what I was trying to say is, I kind of wanted today to be like an ease into the week and the end of a quarter and everything. And what I did instead was forget that I had two different Zoom meetings. Completely forgot about them. Missed them. Uh, and I think it has to do with the, the restrictions and just me feeling like, oh, we're, we're on lockdown. We're not on lockdown. And then, so I was forgetting to do certain things and then I was doing other things that didn't make sense. I, I don't know. But today has been a really weird day. Um, and I washed my hair. That's something I need to be better at next quarter. And I just feel like I'm not, my hair is not soaking in all the yummy nutrients and the moisture and all that good stuff. I'm gonna be more conscious about that. Um, and then I went and got some fresh orange juice and sugar cane juice at my mom's shop at the market. And uh, then I came here and I did a Zoom meeting. One of the Zoom meetings was pushed to now. Um, which actually was to do with the with the investable Africa's pocket. And it looks like a good number of people have signed up. Amani's at the back. I think I could see. Okay, look, someone wants to blow dry my hair. <laughs> you got a new blow dry? Hi, say hi to the camera. Say hi to the camera. Video. Okay, look, look at this. You see this one? Uh, 
If you don't speak, then you won't get spoken to. People only see you when you up, then they notice you. Trying to be a legend, cray lines is quotable. Ah, he's flashing. But you know what? <laughs> I can't go downstairs for those other batteries, at least not now. Which means I won't be able to do my makeup on here with you. The time lapse I thought I would, which is okay, it's fine. Um, but I will show you the after results after I put this perfume. This thing just is really growing on me. Tom Ford Metallic. It's not, I did, like I think the scent I love is usually very citrusy. I'm not even sure anymore because I haven't really taken time to invest and think about like my scents now and the older I've gotten and what's changed and shifted. All I know is I keep reaching out for this one every single time. One more for good luck. I'm not quite done, but there is something happening. Also, I love how these pants, I'm not going to show too much, but these pants have an opening. So if you're not careful, you could just have like leg flying out, but they're these kinds. Let me show you. Like this kind of pant. Perfect for the beach. Um, or the city. Because if you're like me, you're still going to wear your beach clothes in the city. Because <laughs> Nairobi gets really hot. Except for days like these where we're getting into... What is it? Long rains. I did put up a post yesterday and I was like, ooh, short rains coming right up. And my dad, four minutes later, was like, you might want to consider that it's actually long rains maybe before you post just like check with me sometimes that's my dad <sighs> wow anyway uh i'm gonna figure out what to do with my hair because i've just undone the matutas but i kind of wish i could like sleek it back and just have i'm not or maybe leave it big i don't know i was not planning on picking up my camera i'd even told Fatma, no 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 i'm not gonna vlog here i'm not gonna vlog but we're here trying to get some work done for game. Not for this video, but I've got a dilemma. I found too many cute mugs. Ugh. This one, I'm just really into the texture of it. This, the color just looks really interesting. But do I need this? Oh, I'm so confused. Who needs more mugs? Not me. Okay, we're back home. I, I've got about 10 minutes and I have to leave here. Um, interestingly, I should add, Game actually had really good deals on pads. If you love wearing Kotex pads, you should check them out because they had really good deals on the ultra thin value pack pads. Oh, when is this? Yeah, by the time this goes up, you'll still have about a week or just under a week to make the most of that. For now though, I've got to set up a picnic. And look, I, I stole one of my mom's dresses, which actually used to be my old dress, but you know. Wow, big hair, don't care. It's not even parting the way I wanted it, but that's okay. Um, Photos are done, which means picnic is over. You guys didn't catch it, but uh, Yuki, this girl over here, was a little bit naughty. I will insert the clip here so you can see what she did. Um, gonna eat the bread. Go. Nah, Yuki! No! I got yeah. that. I got that. Stop. <laughs> Stop! Cheeky little bum. Hi, good morning. Sorry. It's quite dark in here. I'm trying to get as much light in here. Doesn't look like it's gonna happen. But hi, good morning. My hair, I'm feeling like I haven't done a great job at making it perfect, but it's okay, it's fine. I have a feeling that this might be a really long vlog. But the last time I said that, the vlog wasn't that long, or the video I filmed wasn't that long, which is 32 things I know about myself. It was, well, I know for sure. It was only like 30, 40 minutes or so. But something makes me feel like this might be an hour. I don't know. Um, but I've just started uh, doing stories over on Kotex Kenya. Uh, I was taking over their page today and I thought I would just include that part in this vlog too because why not? And on there, like I'm really just breaking down the things that I like to do to kind of get my Q2 sorted. Which is also what I said I would do here. But then this vlog turned out more into like a self-care, like just calm. I don't know, I think ch things just changed when, and especially when um, the new restrictions were put out and I, 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 I felt that new wave of panic from last year. Although last year was really bad, like when we went into lockdown, I really struggled. But uh, it then turned into a form of self-care. So I've 
been at my parents' house for, for in the last five days. I've been, I've spent maybe like three, four days there, um, and maybe one or two nights here at my house. I just find it comforting. I've also just been trying to get work done and trying to be productive, to not sit too much and think too much about what's going on and, and have that um, cripple me into not taking any action because I, I think that's what happened last year. And if that happened again, you know what? I would kind of just be more gentle on myself, that's for sure, because I really was hard on myself uh, last year and it didn't make things any better. Anyway. I'm only here because I've got myself a dawa and I want to use one of the mugs I got yesterday. Did I even show you guys which ones I got? I don't know if I did. I don't know if I finally showed you what I went what I went for. These ones, I just think they're just so precious and I love that shade of pink too. So I got two of those and then I got two of these which almost looks like it matches with my Vivo dress. This is by this is Safari by Vivo. I love this maxi dress so much, you guys. I don't know if it's out yet. I hope it is. Um, so that I can share a link and you guys can grab it. But I would highly suggest you do. It's one of those that like once you put it on, put a belt on it, or even leave it open, it's just on another level. The only thing I wish it had was pockets. Because y'all know, a dress with pockets, nothing, nothing beats that. Right, what do I want to do? Uh, I want to set myself up. I'm going to cut myself a grapefruit and have my dawa in my new mug. <laughs> oh my god. I feel so spoiled. I am so excited. Look, look at this big bag of Art Cafe goodies. And you know someone knows you when they got your order. Oh, except they got a double uh, vanilla latte. I usually have a single, but I'm gonna take the double. Also, I've not, I've not seen the new cups yet, so this is cool that I've got the first one, the new Art Cafe cup. Um, this is from my financial advisor, Alex, who I've been working with for the last, is it two years or three now? But I feel like the last year, <laughs> I don't know how much finance he's been advising me over. I don't know about that, but we still do our catch-ups um, every, at least every year we have to do like one major sit down where we, we sit, we make, like I kind of share my goals and see if we're aligned. And then like at some point last year, I think twice we may have jumped on the phone too, besides that. Um, so it's not something where every month I sit down with him, but it just is perfectly timed because this is the start of a new quarter and I know I keep saying that but there's just something so refreshing about knowing it's like oh we get to start again and change things if we need to and readjust and and hopefully come closer to our goals I find that very very refreshing um, anyway so I'm meeting him via Zoom at 2 p.m. and he sent some goodies my way uh, in, in the form of like treats. I haven't even gotten to my other treats, which I had here, which is grapefruit and chocolate. Ooh, cookies. Oh, I, I'm such a bore because the only kind of pastry you guys know I order I think you should know, I mean, you would know if you watched my vlog, my vlogs. It's either a salted caramel or uh, an almond croissant. This is an art volcano. I'm not sure what that is. Oh, must be, oh my God, that actually would be perfect with that cup of coffee. I've never had this before, have I? I don't think so. I'm gonna get myself together. <laughs> And then because I'm filming for, I'm uh, doing the stories on, what is it, on Cotex's page, which I'm going to try and just put them in uh, as a highlight, just in case you guys want to check them out. I haven't asked them, but I'm going to ask if you could just leave it up for a little while. I don't know if people are interested in watching from my vlog, then you can go over and check it out. Uh, but I just showed them like, you know, I've set up my whole station and I'm ready. And then I'm going to be like, also, I have more drinks and more goodies. That's just the name of the game. <laughs> so I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of nervous because 
Alex knows my goals, like from three years ago when I first met him and I was like, this is what I want to do, da da da. And so, you know, it's one thing when you put your goals out for yourself, it's another when you've shared it with someone and they can be like, oh, okay, so this is where you are now. <sighs> Which is great because I think it forces you to be ac accountable, right? And it's like, are you sacking? Are you doing the things that you said you want for yourself? Do you need a reminder or what? But um, yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous that I'm just like, okay, Alex, there's a lot that's changed. This is what I'm, I'm, this is where I'm at. This is what I want. And what do you think? Where are we going? How is it looking? I don't know. Um, yeah, I'll fill you in once I'm done with that conversation. Hi. <laughs> they can't even hear you because I've got my earphones on, but I did say I'm jumping on a call with you. So I, I figured I might as well <laughs> show who you are, if that's okay. Is it trippy to hear me I, on me there? To this, I'm going to wear something cute. I'm going to get my hair done. Okay, done. Done with the takeover. And I put it as a highlight on Kotex's stories. I feel like I just feel so good about that because it was like everything just came together perfectly. I had my call with my financial advisor scheduled for Wednesday, but like it just worked out that it was the last day of Q1 and I was talking on my story on the quote on Kotex stories about like getting into Q2 and getting everything together at some point Well now that I'm done with the stories my belt came off of this dress Because I, I just need to be free which made me think actually and please let's not start with the rumors But it made me think this would be really good if I was pregnant, can you see? It doesn't have a lot of stretch, so you could only wear it for so long. But if it had this stretchy type of material, this would be everything. And then it's quick access for all those times you need to pee. It's good. Um, wow, I really thought this through, huh? I'm just feeling like really positive and I feel like I'm in the right mindset. I literally have done so much in terms of prepping myself for Q2, my conversation with my financial advisor went so well. It was also very grounding because all the things that I was like, listen, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take over the world. This is my idea. And he just helped like put things into perspective. And I think the number one thing I want is to be smart about how I go about my money and investing it. And it's not like I have that much, but the little I do have, I really want it to work for me. Um, I thought I saw like a cricket, which would have been odd because I don't know how a cricket would have made it up here. But um, anyway, I, yeah, I just, I feel like I've set myself up properly. And this, this whole vlog just has felt like feel good vibes. I hope you felt that. I feel like I felt it. And even though it started with me on the floor, <laughs> dead after a workout, ah, which I'm still so excited about that I was able to get it under 20 minutes. Um, and now it ends with me kind of feeling, I don't know, just like everything has come together so beautifully. I'm going to take this wig off and I'm gonna go and take my second shower of the day and this time I will shave my legs, I will slather on my salt scrub and then I will, after getting out of the shower, slather on some nice cream. I've been really loving some La Roche-Posay cream um, over Vaseline only because it gets really, really hot. Uh, and I'm a Vaseline girl, but I, I've, I've really been loving that one. Uh, the La Roche-Posay Lipica Lotion and and then I will do my skincare. I'll even, I will even put on a mask. Okay, that's how we're going all in. It's wild. And then I will have the evening to myself and I will just sit and watch a show. <laughs> I'm so happy. And in case you haven't already, because I don't think I've mentioned it here, but a show I would highly recommend is Why Women Kill. I said it on Twitter. I don't think I've said it on this vlog. It is on Showmax. It is amazing. It's so good. Um, right, I'm going to end this, what I think is a super long vlog here. Maybe it's not that long, I don't know. Uh, and I wanna say thank you so much to Kotex for sponsoring this video. The idea was to really just 
share little things that get me in the right headspace that kind of help soothe me and make me feel like my cup is full again. I think it's so important that we take time out for ourselves, that we do things that just feel good. And even though it sometimes feels selfish, I just think you better, you better fill that cup, honey. Like just fill that cup. And in fact, I'm gonna fill my cup with a, with a cup of tea because I'm feeling, I'm feeling like it's that. It's one of those evenings where we start off with a cup of tea. Um, and I hope it inspires you to do something for yourself this weekend that fills your cup. Um, all right, thank you so much again for watching and I will see you very soon. Ain't about a check, then it ain't negotiable. Uh -huh. Gotta show respect to the people that's posting you. Word. Soon to be on posters, posted up like the older dudes. Now we aging like fine wine. Right. How we supposed to do? Peep the shade on the timelines. This time, post the cool.